And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Rally for our next deck for Aggro Day. Um, yeah, just going to get on into this. This is a, a fun deck to play. We're playing Vladimir uh, with you know some aggressive Noxus cards and then pairing that with Demacia, where Demacia gives us uh, Lucian and Senna. Those two cards are both very aggressive. And then Relentless Pursuits. So we're trying to get ahead um, early in the game and then use Relentless Pursuit to get an extra attack step that uh, closes the game down. And we have a little bit of reach. Um, we have, of course, the, the Vladimir allows us to do direct damage to the opponent with, you know, while doing the damage to all of our attacking allies. Um, so, you know, hopefully, like, if we have, like, four other creatures attacking with Vladimir, that's four damage. It's a lot of damage that's like casting decimate you know like a, a five mana spell um so you know if we get that happen a couple of times um even if like the second time like a lot of our things die um that's okay hopefully vladimir can carry plus if vladimir uh does the one damage and kills a whole bunch of allies maybe that means that our allies are going to die and we level up lucian that, that can happen also um then we have a couple of mites in here to give either the Vladimir Overwhelm or also when if Lucian has Lucian or Senna, if either of them have double attack, using the Might to give them Overwhelm can do a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, we still got crowd favorites in here that are also hopefully a big Overwhelm creature. Redeemer gets us a little bit of card advantage. Um, and then we just got a whole bunch of cheap creatures. All right, so this is our Vladimir Rally deck. This is a fun one to play. It's uh, a lot of the games that we win with this are pretty close. And we're just squeaking out victories. So here we go. I never like keeping Relentless Pursuit in, in the opening hand. Always mulligan that card. It's a like it's a good card to draw late in the game or you know, like draw later on. But it's not something that helps you get ahead. And Where are you? you need your cards to help you get ahead. Reporting in. No, 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 no. So you need your your opening cards. But we need to play a two drop. Push back the dark. That's a pretty good card. Iceville Archer. You have to get me out of here. All right, survive damage. Get the Vladimir trigger. Also have a bunch of cheap units. Okay, so I play. So I go straight to combat, or I play some stuff. I think we're gonna play some stuff. Let me show you what I can do. I think I'm planning on playing the two saboteurs with the other two mana. Seems like a good plan. Skitter. Explosives primed. If I attack out, Omen Hawk. Like they. Okay, so they. They block like the two saboteurs. Um, this trades with like Crimson Disciple and Frenzied Skitter kills Lucian. If I do Lucian last, we're not going to have four things die, so we won't have Lucian level up. Mm 
everything's in place. I'll do better this time. Burn away the shadows. Skitter made this attack so much worse. But yeah, we're we're gonna be aggressive. We're gonna try this out. So ha I'm having Senna attack after Lucian, so that if they if they would have had Skitter block Lucian, then we would have leveled up with the Senna. Lucian and Santa survived. We traded three for three. Dealt them some good damage. There's nothing to fear. I'll try anyone. Oh, I should have played House Spider. So they attack, I would have my, my spider to trade with their spider to flip Lucian. I should have played House Spider. Okay, good. That saved. That stuff's fearsome. Can't block it. No. Oh, that's rough. You dare. Ouch. I needed my Lucian to level up. Ouch. That was rough. <clears throat> Frenzied, Frenzied Skitter is a good card. That's why it looks like it's getting a nerf. Looks like next week it's going to be a 3-2, not a 3-3. Three, three. No. I think how much different this game would have been if Frenzied Skitter was a 3-2. That first one would have died originally. Uh, during that first combat, it would have died. Since they wouldn't have built it, been able to do the damage with it, they would not have been able to chump walk with it. Sounds of prayer. Oh, I can't wait. Smooth as silk. That glimpse beyond the one one my opponent this game. Not letting my lucid my Lucian level up with having that spider block. Well, that and that obviously the two skitterers really probably did more overall. The skitterers were incredible. Are we just 0 and 1? Is that was that just our first game? 
Or did we lose to a Yasuo deck first? Are we 0-2 now? Or is that Yasuo was the last one for discard burn? I don't remember now. I don't remember. This was the card I needed that entire last game was Transfusion. I'm I'm keeping it. Transfusion's a good card. Yeah, I could have I could have chump blocked with the with the Senna. I could have just thrown it in front of one of the spiders with blocking to level up Lucian. But I thought that you know I thought that we were going to be level, level like Lucian was three out of four, so I thought we were leveling up Lucian by blocking with the spider. And that we didn't need to do that, but um, the glimpse beyond that play kept me from leveling up the Lucian, and yeah, that was that was big. If I play House Spider and then want to attack with all. We will, um, like, they'll have, like, the 1-2, they'll just block my 1-1. One, one. No, I couldn't kill a spider with Senna blocking. Senna was a 3-2, and all... all all three of their spiders were for toughness. So I, I wouldn't have killed any of the spiders. I, I would have just been throwing away Senna if if we would have leveled up Lucian anyway. And with, with me thinking that I was going to be attacking twice the next turn, having the Senna was going to be pretty important. Nine nine fearsome. It's pretty rough. With me. Hey, Teak Tree. Well, I, I guess I'm gonna have to. I guess we're gonna have to waste these cards. Keep them from gaining nine life.
Don't like using the might there, but I think we just have to do that. Wait, how'd they still gain nine life? What just happened? Did I just take nine damage? Yeah, it did. That thing doesn't have overwhelm, does it? I did it in combat. What just happened? Why did it say it dealt, dealt eight damage to the Nexus? What is it? Or no, it put me down to eight? What, ha what happened? I don't understand. Killed my spider before clicking OK. So you're saying I wasn't in combat? How was I not in combat? They were attack. I don't. I don't understand what's going on. So I was gonna pull this thing aside, but now we drew the might, so I could use might to try to kill this. I don't. I don't know what's going on now. Like, what even happened? You can't once you click okay it just goes to the end. You can't you can't click okay and then play an instant afterwards. Like that doesn't that's not how this game works. Yeah, once you click okay and assign blockers, then it just will just go to go to damage. Like if the if the other person passes. So I, I couldn't click OK. That I don't I have no idea what happened. I don't understand at all, honestly. By playing Relentless Pursuit, they block here. I, you know, I do five damage. I don't, you're trying to explain. I understand you're trying to explain to me, but I, I don't, under, I don't understand it. I know you're trying to explain to me what happened, but I, I have, I can't, I don't understand how that worked. I'd have to like go back and actually watch it. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's the premise that I killed the spider before it was assigned as a blocker, but I d don't understand how that's the case. I don't understand what I was supposed to do differently. Because I don't think I was supposed to be able to, I don't think I was supposed to click OK. So I, I would have to just go see what I did. I understand the premise is that I killed it before it, it actually blocked, but I don't know what I was supposed to do differently. I 
puppy tails fool you. It's not been a good day. Get on some of your own. Not been a good day. Well, that should have been a win, but I guess I I timed something wrong. But in practice, we should not have lost that. Should not have just taken nine life steal damage. They're saying it's not even possible to do it with a burst spell, so I can't, I can't, so that's just not even something that you can possibly do in this game with a burst spell. It's pretty silly. Possible. Push back the darkness. So I had to just click OK and okay, pray that they did something and gave me priority again. I guess you can't block and play burst bell speeds. Burst speed the spells. gonna go straight to combat but now we have a house spider it does represent a lot of damage going straight to combat though the battle caster pumps my tracker so that my tracker can uh, take the draven I think the worst case scenario if we play this right now like they could have the yeah, I think we have to just go straight to combat. They could have like the three drop that gives them two blockers. So then, so then they get three blockers while I only got the two attackers. They could have like Mystic Shot or something, you know, something that would kill the battle caster. So I wouldn't have even um, been able to do that. But I guess I, I guess I had the transfusion to protect the battlecaster.
Sweet. Alright, so that one was a win. So we finally got a real victory. Surprised we haven't faced any Karma Ezreal yet. Hey, Bordoran, going going good. Reporting in. Yeah, it's true. I guess we kind of learned something today. The Vanguard Redeemer. Our ancestors are watching. Round four. Don't want to it's play. I know I could have blocked and transfusioned and tried to tried to kill the Draven, but I don't think that that's worth it. I have my orders. First one's free. The people are my strength. Where'd you get your title? They do refunds. Dang! What is all this stuff? So I attack out, Draven blocks the Battlecaster, the three, and then, you know, like, they just have these two things block these two things. Guess I'm just going to attack with this. And they just block it with one of these. They take some damage. Then they have Static Shock really turned on, but you go Transfusion. Oh, right, they're Spinning Axe. That's a thing. No, I shouldn't have attacked to just pass because having the other things in play is really good for crowd favorite. Time for a true display of skill. The people are my strength. Where'd you get your title? They do refunds. Watch and learn. that resub 40 month streak that is an absolutely incredible that is our third sub of the day i need to i'll take that better or no fourth one two three four fourth sub of the day we had um kitty dexterity 11th month resub, Balding Yeti, the 12th month resub. A Teak Tree, 9 month resub, and now Night Owl.
Thanks, everybody. We're only one sub away from our sub goal. Attack out with everything else. Let's see. The 1 4 can block the 2 1. Ezreal blocks the 1 1. And then they trade, trade. So I lose everything. They take one extra damage and then they don't block crowd favorite. Then this turns down to be a 1 2 and a 1 2. Crowd favorite stays as a 7 6. Okay, so they're blocking like that. That's always been there. So they take uh, an extra point of damage with that block. Definitely assuming one of these battle casters are gonna go down. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Check me out. That's pretty nice. Could they have just killed me? If they would have just attacked out with everything. That would have been another four damage, that would have been at seven. That could have been another damage for a six. Um like, yeah, that was like the card in hand. They could have done another damage here for five. This would have put me down to one. Uh, and then, yeah, they just use spinning axe. Yeah, they they have lethal. Sentinels of light, don't fear the dark. Yeah, they they have lethal this turn. Oh, they just drew another mystic shot. That's cool. Sure. Come on, really? They just top decked another Mystic Shot? Their last two draws were just two more Mystic Shots? Come on. They they were dead here. Like especially how they just used those Mystic Shots on, on me and didn't even kill the crowd favor. Like they were just dead. And then they got bailed out. Like, they, they played that turn so bad, and they should have been dead, but then they just got bailed out by top decking another Mystic Shot. So they, they did, like, the only thing possible to give me a chance that, that game with how they played that turn. And just top checks the the last mystic shot because they they cast a, an original one yes yeah, so that was their last mystic shot they just top deck yeah i mean i guess like it would have just been a tie they they put their yeah they put the three one I guess like whenever it dies does two damage, but I think that's I think that's something that goes on the stat. I don't know how exactly that works if it would have been a tie or not. I'm not sure. Just 
keep all these. I like having the Vladimir, the, you know, something that we're going to have on turn five. So it looks like we're playing against Karina Control. Which Karina Control, you know, has... It has a whole lot of good cards against aggro in their deck. Like, they have a ton of awesome anti-aggro cards. But, with that being said, they also have a lot of... Um, gosh, even just a, just a lease here is great. <clears throat> they also have a lot of, you know, eight and nine mana cards. And so if they end up mulliganing and then drawing those eight and nine mana cards... Could not be bad for us. You dare. Oh, there's a chill in the air. My plan next turn is to play the two two drops. plan. They don't have Withering Whale, like, they don't have 5 mana, which is good, so they don't have Withering Whale or Brood Awakening, but I guess they have that thing. I would like three of my creatures to die to level up Lucian. Transfusion would be a great draw. They'd be able to protect Lucian and also kill a spider. Nope. Alright, well I said they had a bunch of really good anti-aggro cards. Got to see the spiders are pretty good against aggro. I'll bring them peace. Well, to be honest, I didn't really expect Lucian to level up. Pretty unexpected. You'll serve me one way or another. Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. All right, so this is basically: Do they have vengeance? My true um, is skin. Like might plus. My plus Lucian is lethal. It's just, do they have removal for it? I don't want to play other stuff pre-combat because then they could ruination. I don't want to let them do that. I just hope they can't kill Lucian. Um, so I think I just go for it. 
Make this eight. Double attack. If I don't go for it, we get to rally. We, you know, this dies, we, we rally, we attack again. Maybe I just don't go for it. Even if they have Ruination... We still... You know, we would, like, attack for five with, like, Vladimir. They Ruination. I'm gonna go for it. play crowd favorite also they'll just you know kill the crowd favorite with one of the, or sorry the uh the tracker they'll just kill the tracker with one of these They still just keep playing. Like, they're playing like they are they want to Ruination. That's how they're playing. That's how they were playing the, the previous turn also. I just didn't have a lot of faith in... in uh, it's like, it definitely felt like they had Ruination. I just didn't have a lot of faith in... Uh, if I don't go for it with the Might and just let damage happen. They're, they just Ruination post-combat, and I just don't have, didn't have a lot of faith of winning with just Vladimir basically against you know, with all, all their life after they uh, ruination, and so um and so that's why I went for it they, of course, you know, had the removal for it, but <clears throat> so I basically didn't like my chances against Ruination, which is the card that they were signaling they had with how they were playing. have the ruination they called that but then they also had you know they had the ways to kill the Lucian and then ruination just, you know, we were just done for uh, well we ended one and four those games did not go our way that's for sure the um you know that one was really really disappointing with the the trans the whole transfusion thing um that uh, you know, I guess we, you know, you can go back, you know, like that, that second game. That was a game I don't think that we should have lost, but I guess the, the rules of the game. Uh, we didn't get to block. You can't block and then burst spell and kill your own thing with a burst spell speed and still have the other thing be blocked. It's just not, it's not a possibility, unfortunately. Um... But there we go. That's Vladimir Rally. Wasn't the best showing for this deck. We've had a lot better showings with this. We've gone, we've had uh, played this a few times and had some really good records with it. Um, for those of y'all watch on YouTube, if you want to check the, the deck out and, and uh, see it have some better records, there's definitely some some other times we've played it and done really well with this deck. Just today's not my day, but that's all right. All right, but anyway, thanks thanks so much for watching the video though. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next one.